Hello everyone! In today's video, we are going to be checking out my planner lineup for the start of 2022. There are not a lot of planners this year, as you can see. I have definitely cut it down from where I started off in January 2021. Um, but yeah, so we're going to look at what my planner lineup is for right now. And I'm already anticipating some changes to this lineup and we will talk about why that is. Welcome or welcome back to Science of Planning. My name is Maya and on my channel I am sharing everything about the planner systems that I use to help my, keep my life organized um, in different areas. So one of my favorite things to do is a refresh and I love to mix up my systems. One, to try out new things, support new shops, um, but two, I may have something going on in my life that requires a new planner setup and I track everything or as much as I can in my planners and sometimes that means just keeping it all in one planner sometimes it means having its own planner so i have definitely gone through a lot of trial and error in the past year um and i did a whole video going through that system or that change <laughs> for 2021 i'll make sure to link that up here for you all so you can check that out but i kind of talked about what i started with why it changed did it change i also went through a lot of change in regards to the planner setups that I was using. So I started off with disc and then I incorporated some rings, um, some coil binding as well. I saw a lot of change <laughs> in my life and with my planners in 2021. So we're going to look at what I have decided to start 2022 with. Now, as a side note for all my planners in the community, um, or if you're new to the planner community, this does not have to be the system you stick with throughout the entire year. Again, this is way less <laughs> when I started. I think I had eight planners at the start of the last year, seven or eight. There was a lot. And actually, that was normal for me to have that many planners because I like to have them separately. But I have realized that condensing it into just one, one catch-all planner has been awesome. And that has actually minimized what... I end up using or keeping on my desk over here. Now there is one planner, um, or actually two planners. There's one planner that you're going to see in today's video and I'll talk about that. Um, I have it off to the side, but there's a second planner that I don't have here. And I think, I don't know what planner I'm going to get, but um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go check it out. The link for that is down in the description here. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my announcement that my boyfriend proposed to me um, on our trip to New York City. And so I have a wedding planner that I am going to be looking for that I will probably incorporate separately. I'm not in my catch-all planner here, but I do want to keep track of that in a paper planner. And then, of course, also use like Google Sheets. Um, to help out with that planning. Everything else is pretty much finalized, so let's go through it. Uh, we're just going to do a brief overview, and then what I'll do in another video is talk about, um, like, in more detail, like, how I actually use them, if that's something you all want to see, uh, especially with this first planner here. This planner, you've seen me talk about this a lot, um, like mentioned on this channel, but I don't really show it too much. And that is my budget planner. And the reason for that is because I actually have an entire different channel <laughs> just for budgeting because I absolutely love um, incorporating this into my everyday planning. And I love sharing that with our budgeting community. So if you're interested in some budgeting tips, definitely check that out. There's a lot of budgeters on YouTube um, and you can find my budgeting channel down below. That's where I'll kind of break down how I actually use it, but let's just kind of go through what is in here real quick. Um, so this is a classic Happy Planner system. It is punched for a nine disc system, and I did change this out. It used to have like gunmetal silver disc here, but now it is going to be on gold metal disc. The cover that you see here is also Happy Planner. This is their old school. Uh, <laughs> I say old school because they haven't made it like this in a while um but this is their old school hard snap on cover in this quilted black leather that has been on my budget planner for like ever now <laughs> uh, but something that is new is this cover from a new happy planner 
undated budgeting planner. They surprised me. I thought I was set for my budget planner, but they surprised me a couple months ago, or actually maybe last month actually. Um, and they dropped this new budget planner, which is super neutral. So if you're all about neutral, you still like a disc system and you want budgeting, I would recommend checking this one out. It was, it, it's awesome. And I definitely bought it for the cover and then also for uh, the dividers and the insides that we'll see throughout this planner here. But I absolutely loved it. I think it looks great with this cover and my new discs that are here. Um, it says know your worth. It has a little bit of foil, gold foil on here. Um, and then the back cover looks just the same with that um, splatter paint. So I really do like the way that looks for it. So that is going to be the new cover for my budget planner. Then over here it has these really cool polka dots um, with these little bitty dollar signs everywhere. I think they look really cool. This page here is something new that I'm going to start adding to my budget planner and it is a yearly overview. I printed this off from my middle planner. I can't remember if this was a freebie or if I had to purchase it because I have loved uh, so many things from their shop um, and so I can't remember if this was a, a freebie or if I ended up just buying it, but I absolutely love the way that this one looks. I love uh, how this layout is, and my plan is just to kind of use this as a reference. The second page of that um, download that you get says 2022, working on me for me. And you could actually even use this if you um, ended up getting this, you could probably use this as uh, a cover page. So this could be punched on this side. And then you could have your yearly overview on that page. For me, I wanted it to be here um, at the front, opened up like that. The next thing that we'll see in my budget planner is going to be the actual budgeting system. So here we have the dividers from that budget planner. So I'll kind of flip through them real quick. Again, this is from the Happy Planner budget planner that just released. So this has the same polka dots with the dollar signs. This one says save today, spend tomorrow. Do you want it or do you need it? And then this is the white version of that. I really love this page or this divider here. And I really wanted to incorporate those dividers into my budget planner to keep it very simple or not simple. I'm gonna say chic <laughs> with the black and the whites and the golds. I think that looks really good all together. Um, for the aesthetic of my budget planner and then the actual budgeting inserts are going to be from the budget mom she does have a physical version of this workbook but i have always printed it out um, and i did buy her new version this year and so this is something that i'll be starting off in january with the newer version um and so yeah again if you really want to see how i use these pages definitely check out my other youtube channel where i kind of go through this entire system here. The next part of my budget planner are some additional printables that help me with motivation, tracking my progress, and even some budgeting tips that I find. I'll just print them out and put them in here. And each one of these sections is divided by a cloth and paper top tab divider. This is their clear plastic dividers punch for a classic HP system. You do get four in that package, which is great because I have four sections and I don't label them because sometimes I'll move them around. But for me, I just know where they're at. Behind each one of these is going to be a divider from a Happy Planner planner. And I ended up just cutting off the tab that's here because again, I'm not going to be really using it as a um, divider like these over here. I really just wanted them for the artwork <laughs> for this one. This is actually from an expansion pack, so I don't know about this one here, but the other ones did come from that Happy Planner budget um, system. So I, again, really love the golds and whites and the blacks. This one says, know your worth, just like the cover. And then this one says, there is magic in savings here. Um, and so, yeah, so we can kind of go through what these are in here. So this would be like my motivation, my tips. Uh, how to use the budget by paycheck workbook system uh, can be found in this section. In this next section, this is kind of like a uh, place for me to set my goals and to keep track of those goals. This next section is, let's see, I think this is my 
debt trackers. Yes, so this is where I'm going to be keeping track of my debt payoff progress. This worksheet is actually one thing or something that I created and sell on my Etsy shop for my budgeting channel. Um, and I'll make sure to leave that down below if you're interested in any of the ones that you see today. Uh, but this helps me keep track track of my debt snowball tracker um this right here i purchased from debt free charge i absolutely love the game board look <laughs> for keeping track of my progress so i have a couple of those printed and keeping track over here like this and then this last section is my savings uh, tracker so here i have another worksheet from my etsy shop for keeping track of my sinking funds and then let's see yeah, those are all set up for my sinking fund trackers. Oh, and then here I have my 100 envelope savings challenge. Doing really well on that. Still doing that one. Um, some worksheets to keep track of my savings goals. Thanksgiving, vacation, down payment. So that is all going to stay in those sections there. So again, at the front, I have the actual tracking of my spending. Um, here I can see my progress over time and then this back page is just a folder I have some stickers back here that I printed out and a bunch of notebook paper and extra printouts in case I need them for my budgeting um, system so again there's a lot that goes into how I actually use this but I'll probably do that in another video this is just to kind of show you all my budget planner for 2021 Okay, so the next plan I want to show off is something that is not going to change too much from 2021, and that is going to be my work planner. If you've been following me on my channel, you have seen my growth throughout trying to find a work planner for my new job that I started in May of this past year. And what I found is that this ring system is perfect and I am not going to change a lot here. I'm going to carry this entire system over into 2022 and it's still going to be my work planner. So again, very similar um, to it or actually let me start the cover. I always forget about that with these covers. Um, so this is going to be a cloth and paper Safiano leather ring agenda for an A5 size. This is not um, one of the ones that is sold on their website right now. I did buy this pre-loved and I absolutely love this. This is like my favorite type of leather and this one does come with black uh, metal rings. I can't remember the size. I think these are 25 millimeter rings on the inside and then it has a magnetic snap closure with a pin loop here. There are some pockets in the front and the back and I do utilize them here. So as you can see, for my credit card slots, I do have some of the sticky notes, or not sticky notes, yeah, sticky notes, <laughs> I was like, what are these called, uh, that I keep here on these side pockets, and then in these slots, I keep some stickers, I think I took some out recently, but like I'll keep little stickers like this in here, um, in these card slots, and then in the back, just jump back there. I just kind of keep usually some paper back here, like little sl random slips of paper. Um, like if I jot something down and it's like, okay, I need to make sure it goes into my work planner, I'll just kind of stick them back here. Um, if not, then I'll put some decorative cards. I think I got this from like a scrapbooking kit. So I'll just kind of keep that in here in the back. Now, there are a couple of different inserts in here. There's also a couple of different dashboards from other shops, and I'll make sure to talk about that when I go through an entire flip through of it. But to give you all an idea of what my work planner is going to look like, I do have a couple of different sections here. They are all um, divided by these cloth and paper dividers. Same type of material, the clear plastic, but these are the side tab dividers. Um, and same thing, I don't really keep them labeled because I kind of, I, I might move them around. I recently did that a couple months ago. So I might end up moving them around so I don't have labels on here. But again, I kind of already know where everybody's at uh, just by flipping through it. But yeah, so those sections are all going to be divided. And the main system that's in here is a daily system from Erin Condren. It is their daily duo in an A5 punch system. And the way that I have them organized is by a monthly and a daily portion. And so in this monthly section here, I actually took the month 
um, and I separated it from the daily section. So I like to have all the month uh, together and then that way I can see what's happening on a monthly basis, like side by side. Now, I did make the mistake. I think I got carried away when I was putting it in here and I did chop off the February tab. Typically though, I will keep that tab on there. My bad um, <laughs> for that one. So, uh, but this is what it typically looks like. It is very neutral. I love the fonts and I do love the floral design here, but I'm also very much a seasonal decorator. So I do put a little bit of season seasonal in this work planner as well um, for it. But yeah, I really do love how these monthlies have been working out for me. Uh, for my work planner and I'll just jot down important dates. I'll put in notes here on this side column and I'll do the same thing for the months going forward. This next section is where I keep the dailies and I can show you what they look like undecorated here. But this is going to be the Erin Condren Daily Duo layout. So I have my times on the side. I have a random little calendar which I don't rarely ever use. <laughs> But what I really love is this to do section. Um, and I actually utilize this space down here for either some quick notes or just decoration. But so that's going to be part of the system. And then this next part here, I think is a note section. So let me see if I can find something. So I really love these cloth and paper. Uh, I don't know if they're like journaling pages. I know these are their notes pages. So this is their half blank, half grid paper you can put the date at the top but I want to say these are like dailies because you can put the date up here depending on how you highlight it personally for me I just like it for the grid paper um, for it and I think I got this in a sub box so that's why I'm still kind of utilizing those there this next portion here is going to include some meeting inserts from cloth and paper there we go uh, I really do love how this looks and this has been great for me to prep for a meeting, write down the meeting notes and then put my follow up to, uh, for that meeting down here at the bottom. And that again has just been awesome for how work has been. So these inserts, uh, I'm going to continue using these. And then this back part, I think, I don't think there's anything back here right now. I think it's just, yeah, everything else you see here. So that is pretty much the majority of this work planner, the Erin Condren Daily Duo, with a few inserts from cloth and paper that live in my work planner. All right, let's check out my social media content planner next. Um, this one recently got a redo or refresh here, um, and I did change a couple of other things from what it looked like in 2021. Probably the biggest change from the beginning of last year was that I started off in a mini HP size and now I'm using a classic HP system here. Um, the discs have like a, have that, or actually I think these are like, they're almost rose gold, but I call these the gunmetal silver. I think they're really hard to tell on camera. They're coming off kind of, kind of goldish, but um, these were the ones that are originally on my budget planner. This is the same um, snap hardcover from Happy Planner. And then this cover here is just so gorgeous. I really love it. This is from a Happy Planner Notes. I want to say, I know for sure this came out this, this year, 2021. I just don't remember where it was sold. But if I can find it, I'll try to link it in another, or in this video or the actual setup video here. But this planner um, is Franken planned. It is it has a lot of different components in there. One being these happy notes, and then the other two big pieces, and I'll just show you all this here in this video, come from two planners. So these two, this one probably looks familiar. Uh, this is something that I put together on my channel. I was using this uh, just like it was, and this is going to be from the Spoonful of Faith line, and it is the neutral dashboard layout super neutral and I absolutely loved using this for content planning so I'm still going to be using those insights but I really wanted to use the dividers from this planner this is from uh, I want to say the modern art or modern deco I cannot remember the names of these planners but I'll make sure to look it up um, this planner here has these beautiful 
dividers uh, with the month. And I absolutely love how these look. As you can see, I'm very all about my classic black and whites, just very neutral colors. And I just love how this looks here. So I wanted to incorporate these dividers into this system here along with what the dashboard layout is from this planner. So just a kind of a quick flip through here. I have the hello page from one of those planners, my yearly overview, my year at a glance pages, and then you have this dashboard. I have talked so much about how I love this reformatting of the dashboard. I know it's not a favorite for everybody, but for me, I love that I, I just, I can do a lot more with this because it's not already labeled for me. Um, just like really big font, I can easily cover up those circles if I want to. But yeah, I absolutely love, love this new dashboard layout here. Um, but as you can see here, are those dividers from that other planner, I did take the calendar portion out from it. And then this is where we're going to start off my dashboard layout. So I have been using the dashboard layout to keep track of content planning for a long time now. Like over on my Instagram, before I even started my YouTube channel, um, I was using it again in that HP mini size. So I'm really, I'm loving the classic size and I'm going to continue using this again. Um, I have three months in here so far. And I think that's it for like this part here. So I'm going to just do three months at a time in this beginning part. I also have this divider in here um, or a dashboard. I use it as a divider though. I can't remember where I got that one. And then this back portion is just a notes where I can just jot some stuff down. Um, I have a couple of different dividers in here, a couple of different style of paper. So I've got grid paper, dot grid paper, bunch of line paper in here and that's either for content planning or if I just need to jot something down um like I just need a notebook I'll just pull this out and I'll write it down here and then I'll transfer it to wherever it needs to go but I'm all about a good notebook uh, or a good note section so I definitely need a notebook and I just decided to combine it into this portion here for it so that is going to be my social media or my content planner. Okay, y'all, we have one more planner to look at. And this has been my favorite project to work on this past month. And probably one of the ones I am most excited to be using at the start here of 2022. And that is my catch-all planner. Typically, I have a catch-all planner to keep track of everything else that isn't work, budgeting, or social media. Um, those I like to keep separate everything else goes in my catch-all planner and I have gone through a lot as far as what that has looked like. It started off in a classic HP, then last year I started using a half letter size which is still one of my favorite sizes but after using the A5 system, this one for work, I realized that rings are my thing too. <laughs> um, I honestly did not think I would ever use a ring system and then I started using it for work and realized I really do like it. I love it a lot. <laughs> love it, like it. Um, same thing with half letter system and so I have decided that for 2022 I'm gonna start off in a ring system for my catch-all. Yeah I am I am definitely shocked <laughs> that I'm gonna be using a ring system for my catch-all in 2022 but again if you find something that you love and it's worked for you keep doing that and I have loved what the way my work planner has been going and I wanted to try that out for my catch-all so here we are start of 2022 catch-all is going to be in an A5 ring system um, and again I'll go through all of the components of this here uh, but one thing I will let you know is the cover that is going to be housed in this is the or one of the new designs from Cloth and Paper. This was recently released, I want to say during their Black Friday sale. They dropped this beauty and it is in their white crop agenda, uh, ring agenda cover. It does have a snap closure here with gold hardware and as you saw there are gold, uh, gold rings in 30 milliliter size and I love it. The inside is that beautiful soft yellow leather and that's one of the reasons why I really wanted the cloth and paper version is because I love the soft yellow leather look 
and that's what I wanted to uh, or I love how it is on the inside and I've always wanted a white or beige croco leather cover so I once I got this I was like oh no I can't use it because I, I don't want to get it dirty but I've been doing pretty well with it so far um it's still a work in progress because it doesn't lay flat just yet um way better than when I first got it but just like with any other agenda cover you do want to kind of train it after or train it for some time so I've been working with it but yeah so that's the agenda cover um and as you can see I already have some things in the pocket some sticky notes some journaling cards stickers in the flaps very much like my work setup the back though is a little different because cloth and paper doesn't make that flap anymore um which i really wish they would <laughs> bring that back but they do have this back pocket and i don't really use it so nothing back here um and you do get a pin loop which again i don't really use because it sits on my desk so there is a lot that's going on in here so what i'll probably do is just kind of flip through the main components of it and i'll break them down in another video um, for you all here, but the main sections are going to be divided using the cloth and paper side tab dividers um, for a A5 ring system. And this time I did put labels on here. These are stickers from Sweet Caress. She does sell a couple of different sheets with categories on them already. And so that's what I used here. I just kind of put those on because um, I absolutely love that font. So that is what I have labeled here. Um, and it's kind of deceiving because I know it looks like there's like six here, but I actually have an extra one hiding there. So that is one of the ways that I organize it. And then another way are with these sticky notes at the top as well. Um, same thing with the labels from Sweet Caress. Okay, so this first section is my year to glance. Um, so this is kind of where I'll be keeping track of my yearly, uh, get her, not yearly goals, but just yearly events. Um, for them and I do have some pages here to help me out with journaling keeping track of those events this next section is my monthly section this one's kind of interesting because I actually have it to where I have a personal monthly calendar uh, let's see that I got from cloth and paper and this is what I'm going to be using to keep track of like monthly dates but then I also have this social media tracker one that I got for an A5 system where I'll keep track of like social content posting, um, which I have in here for right now, but this is just something that I wanted to utilize for this A5 system. I may end up moving this out to my other budgeting one, but that's what's in here for right now. This is where I plan to keep track of, again, personal events and then also probably my cleaning schedule, but I have a tracker for cleaning over here that we'll see. Next up is my weekly section. So this page is going to be a printable that I got from Elmont Paper Co. I started using this last year in my half letter and I'm going to continue using it um, because I love using this as like a pre-planning page. So what do I hope my week is going to actually look like? And this is what it looks like when I print it out. But the way I've been using it to kind of show y'all here is I actually print out these stickers um, and they serve as my titles and then I'll put here everything for home, dinner, cleaning, and my workout. So what do I need to work on for cleaning? What do I hope to do for my workout? What is my dinner plans for the week? And then anything that needs to happen at home is what I'll put here. And I actually have that, like this is an example of what it looks like here. Um, for it and as you can tell I kind of moved it around a little bit but this is essentially my pre-planning I do have something else where I keep it a little bit more clean and for sure these are the plans but this is just to help me plan out for that week coming up so that's my weekly section um, this next part is labeled to do but it's really my daily section and this is where I'm going to be utilizing something new in my lineup here and that is going to be the moxie life daily planner i decided i want to say in october <laughs> i decided in october that i really wanted to incorporate a daily system for my catch-all planner because again i saw how well it was working for work with the daily duo system and what i really wanted was a space to keep track of a lot more than just times and a to-do list and luckily for me Moxie Life came out with their um, their new lineup for 2022, and that included these A5 
inserts and I absolutely love how they've been working out and my plan is to utilize that with the weekly section that you see here um, and what I ended up doing is I took apart the way those inserts are it's like a monthly and then your weekly section and then you have quarterly goals um, and I really really took that apart and I'll talk more about that in another video but what you see here in the daily section is really going to be my weekly actions and the week page and then the daily section. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I think I'm going to like the weekly page to be next to my daily so that way I can just easily flip through them and see, okay, this is what I'm doing for the week. That's my overall thought for that. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to work out, but that's why you kind of see these here um, together. So again, this is from the Moxie Life. This is their A5 inserts for their daily layout, and I'm incorporating that with their goal setting system, which we'll see here in a second. Um, but yeah, so that's my daily section. Then I have a tracking section here, which has a couple of different trackers. This first one is a um, printable that I got from My Minimal Planner. I think I'm going to love this idea of just putting the month there and then I have a place to put six habits and then I can track all six of them on this one page. And I think that's going to work way better for me because what I was doing beforehand was flipping to each page to mark it and then flip another page whereas here I have all my habits um, and I ended up printing them out for the entire year but this is what it looks like front and back and yeah so that's what I'll be using for habit tracking and then this last part here I have is for fitness these inserts are from Infinite Lotus and I have been using these for I want to say all of 2021 where I was putting my info for my workouts I also have like a weight log that I was keeping track of as well. So that part's going to stay here in my tracker system. These are kind of new. I don't know if I'm going to use these every single month, but I did get these from Debt Free Charts. And again, I love this game board look and keeping a tracker like this. So I ended up printing all of these pages, walking tracker, hydration, creativity, um, no spend, so a little bit of everything for them. And I'm going to see what I actually end up using in 2022. Um, like, for example, if I love this decluttering one, I'll continue printing that or the fitness one. But yeah, so I ended up printing them all out. I think there's like 14 all together. There's even a blank one. So you can, let me see, there we go. You can label it whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of cut these out and they're going to live back here now. My next section is my goal section. And so as you saw, I'm using the Moxie Life daily inserts to keep track of my daily plans, but I'm also going to be utilizing their goal setting system. In 2021, I really wanted to focus on setting goals and keeping track of those goals. And I did try out a couple of different systems. I found one that really worked for me. And this year, I'm going to try out Moxie Life. But I think I'm also going to try out my Power Sheets, which is the one system that I did get that worked for me. And I have my Power Sheets here. Um, and I'm not including it in my planner lineup because I don't, I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to be doing this at the same time. I, I've been using this for about four months now, and I really did like it, but let's see. This was the page. I absolutely love this tenning list, but this was the only thing out of the entire planner that I found was really working for me, um, and it could be because I just wasn't using it the way that I should. Like, I wasn't utilizing this page as much, so... I don't know if I want to use this with the Moxie Life system or if I want to just use only Moxie Life. I haven't really decided yet. Um, I'll talk more about that when I go through my goal setting uh, for 2022. But that or the Moxie Life system is going to live in here. And I've already kind of gone through a little bit uh, setting up my annual goal sheets here. And then I can show you all this here. This is what some of those other pages look like for your goal setting. 
Um, I just kind of went through and highlighted, made some notes here. And then in the back, I think I have, here we go, monthly goals. So this is all part of their goal setting system. And I decided to keep it here in the goals area um, because I want to have all my monthly goals together. That way, when I do my quarterly assessment, which somewhere here, let's see. There we go. When I do my quarterly assessment, I have all my months already together. This could change. I could end up moving those weekly action pages over here. Um, I could move the monthly portion to the actual monthly section. I'm not 100% sure because I do want to keep as much as the goal setting system together. But if it just works like in my mind to have all the monthly stuff in the month section, I may end up splitting it apart. Uh, the quarterly section might just stay here or I might end up moving it. This part is definitely new for 2022, this whole goal setting section here. Everything else, the yearly, monthly, weekly um, tracking system, that has been the same throughout the past year. The daily system and this goal setting system is very, very new, but I am excited to be using that here um, in this new year. And then this last part is just a note section um, for a catch-all, just a couple of sheets of paper back here for it. So yeah, sorry, I said I was going to make that really quick, but I have a lot of sections in here that I wanted to kind of go through with you all. So that is just a quick, quick overview of what my catch-all planner is going to look like. Again, I am really excited to be trying out a A5 ring system in this beautiful new agenda cover for that. Um, but yeah, so that is one of my planners. I'll also be using an A5 system for my work planner. And then I have a classic HP for my content planning. Move these up here. And then the last one is my classic HP for my budget planner. So overall, these are for sure the four planners <laughs> that I am using in 2021. Again, I'm not 100% sure about this goal setting planner from uh, Cultivate What Matters just yet. Um, Definitely going to be having to think about this coming up here soon, though. And then the last one will be my wedding planner. Once I figure out what that one is going to be, then that'll get added to my planners lineup here. But that is everything. Again, just a brief overview. I'll do a more detailed um, video for each one of these. But that is everything for my planner lineup. Just a brief overview again, and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, will you please give this a thumbs up? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions about these planners that you see here that I can talk about in their actual planner uh, setup videos, and I will see you on the next one.